Good morning, good morning, people. Good morning. How did you sleep? Uh, wow. I slept well. I still have the cold. And uh, yeah, it's 7 a.m. in the morning. That's the time I usually wake up. Actually, my waking time is usually between 6.30 to... Between 6.30 and uh, 7.30, between there, I can wake up at any time, but today I've woken up at 7 uh, a.m. And uh, guys, I promised you that I'm going to take with you throughout my day, what I normally do during the day. Like today, I have uh, a few activities to do. Like one, one, uh, I'm going to, what I'm planning is I'm going to surprise her hubby at workplace uh, with lunch. Like, yes, he la he eats out, but it's not one of, one of his favorites. Uh, he doesn't like it so much eating out, so I'm going to surprise him today with lunch. So we are going to do his favorite lunch with you guys so that I take it to him uh, during lunchtime. And uh, he's still sleeping, so... Uh, he will wake up around 7.30, around 8 there, and uh, by that time, I'll have made some porridge for him, because he loves porridge, he loves porridge, to, he loves porridge so much. So I'm going to prepare him porridge for breakfast, and uh, some to carry to work with the thermal cup, and um, yeah, and then we surprise him with lunch. So basically, this is my morning routine, I usually wake up. Uh, I do some stretches in bed, yes, and uh, now that he's still sleeping, I cannot do the stretch, the stretch, the stretching, so I'll do when he wakes up, so I'll take you back and show you how I normally do my stretch, my stretches for the back, eh? I need to, to relax my muscle after a long night of sleeping in one position, so I, I usually need to do the stretches so that I can relax and my back can be can 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 be pain this especially my muscles eh, to relax my muscles so i normally do my stretches in the morning in bed and uh, after i do my morning stretches i pray so this now today i'm going to start with praying and then i go back to bed after he has woken up i do my stretches but meanwhile i'll be cooking i'll be cooking porridge so guys let's get get started with this so first things first i need to pray i need to dedicate this day to god by the way guys i would try Praying the first thing in the morning. Yani like when you wake up in the morning, ensure that you dedicate that day. Yani like dedicate that day to God because it really, really, really means a lot. When you dedicate your every day to God, God, I'm telling you, you'll see miracle, you'll see things happening. So I've always wanted to dedicate my day before I do anything. Actually, I have not even touched the gas. Yani like I've not touched every, anything. I've just woken up brushed my teeth, washed my face, did my morning routine. I think I showed you my morning routine, uh, the mafuta that I normally use. Let me go and pick it, by the way. Let me go and pick it for you. See the mafuta that I usually use in the morning. If you have not watched my previous video, i done another video showing you my routine. Showing you my routine. So... So for my morning routine, this is what I normally use. This is Luron. So this is what I normally use for my morning routine. I, I did another video whereby I showed you the night cream, the one that I usually apply at night, whether I've done makeup or not. There's that cream that I usually use at night. So this one is my day cream. It has SPF 6. Uh, that one helps with... Um, it has sunscreen component to protect skin against harmful sun rays, provide sun protection and factor spf 6 of 6 so basically this is what i use in the morning so in the morning i wake up i brush my teeth i wash my face then i get down to prayer so guys let's dedicate this day to god having a very bad cold guys i've finished praying so now that i'm done with praying let's go to the kitchen and prepare porridge for my sweetheart and by the way guys uh, i did some cleaning yesterday at night 
I need I did some cleaning. I normally like our place it usually has some some challenges with water sometimes. I don't know. So what we normally do, um I usually wash my clothes at night. Like I always ensure that at night it's the time that um uh, it's the time that I'm um, I'm doing what? I'm cleaning, I'm doing my clothes cleaning so at night in the movie can go up a machine there's a lighting that comes from the door oh yes so kuna some nini there is usually some let me close it there so at night i prefer washing my clothes because during the night nobody hakuna mtu anakuja kukusumbua hakuna anything yani like uh, you can do your, your your washing comfortably uh the water is there nobody is using the water at night so i normally put my clothes in the machine at night and then in the morning i just wake up to hang them so i'll put porridge on the fire uh near shemoto and then i go out and hang the clothes by the time i'm coming back my porridge will be ready and i'll be good to go and then i start preparing uh surprise lunch for my husband this round one for my clothes these are the dark clothes i normally mix them this one they they i couldn't go in at our rank or anything so i normally uh do my cleaning uh i normally separate my clothes they are those that usually uh remove some coloring or something they bleach others so i normally separate them as i'm washing so this is round one and then down there i have round two this is jackets uh, heavy sweaters the, the dark colored uh, jackets and sweaters eh? so guys that's what i'm going to do so let me hang them so basically i'm going to bring you today on my day what i normally do so let me go out and hang my clothes yeah so guys i'm done with uh hanging clothes uh outside i'm done so at this moment i'm going to prepare the porridge and we start preparing our lunch so guys i'm going to take you through porridge okay porridge i just uh i prepared the normal porridge from otter i normally it's normally sent to me and uh i ferment it like there you ferment the porridge you put water you put it for some time and then it ferments you're, you're just fetching small small as you prepare the porridge so that's the porridge basically that i'm going to use the fermented one traditionally fermented porridge okay i'm already done with porridge uh i've already packed it here kwa thermos <laughs> packed 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 it uh, i've already put it in the thermos uh ready to be dropped uh actually my husband is going with it uh to work so that akiskianja he can be sipping sipping kidogo kidogo here guys I've already prepared my dough for chapati. Uh, I'm preparing chapati for lunch, his favorite meal. Uh, you see everything that I'm preparing. Pre uh, chapati and some stew, that's his uh, favorite. And uh, because he does not like eating out, or rather he say that uh, sometimes his favorite meal is chapati uh, and black beans. But you'll hear him say that, hey, nowadays chapati, they are, pick they are cooking very tiny chapatis and they're there. Uh, expensive so and he loves my chapatis of course so i decided now it's it has been quite a while since i did some chapatis so let me prepare some chapatis and surprise him with lunch at work so guys uh here we start preparing chapati i'm here my pan is already there so yeah let's get started as you can see there my chapatis are ready i've already prepared and folded them uh they are there actually these chapati will take us maybe for a week they are just a lot we normally do less than 10 chapatis but for this case where's metoka one two three four five six thirteen chapatis they are quite a lot but uh anyway we'll still eat them so let's start rolling and putting them on fire yes so hi guys uh i've already finished preparing uh lunch and uh 
now it's time to pack for my husband so it's uh 12 50 it's already 12 50 and i've already taken a shower it's a walking distance to our shop uh it's a walking distance from my place to the shop so i'll take like 10 minutes to be there yes 10 minutes so i've already preparing uh chapati and i've also pre i'm also done preparing the stew which is beans guys hey i'm telling you chapati and bean stew that food slaps different what chapati beans oh god me that one i can kill for any like i just love chapati beans i love i just love so much chapati beans chapati beans oh it slaps different so i'm going to show you the food that i prepared um i love my beans in a boil in a boil until the 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 soup eh? in a can come in and turn whitish something like that eh? so i'm going to show you the meal that i prepared the chapati and the beans uh apparently i didn't prepare any veggies for him but anyway the food is awesome it's yummy and i hope that uh he's going to be happy so guys uh you realize that i have not yet done also the how uh, the stretches that i normally do in the morning you remember i was to do them but my hubby was still sleeping because i usually use the bed to do the stretches because of my back i cannot stretch uh, on a soft ground and like on the floor it's usually hard for me to go down so i always prefer using it on my bed because my mattress is good it's an orthopedic mattress so i didn't make to do the stretches but as i promised i'm going to do a video it will not have anything anything apart from my stretching the do's and the don'ts of a back problem person the, the things that you if you have a back problem uh probably like mine whereby you have some implants uh behind or if you you just have a normal back problem that is really stressing you up there are those the, do, the do's and the don'ts so that to lessen the pain eh? to ensure that you don't feel that much pain so i'm going to show you the do's and the don'ts uh, for back problem i'm going to show the various stretches that helps me the ones that i've been taught in the hospital and others have been um, told to incorporate in my exercising so i'm going to show you the ones that works for me there were the stretches that the various stresses that you're supposed to do uh and also the do's and the don'ts on how you're supposed to bend to collect something from the floor so basically i'm going to do a vlog about just that alone and nothing else so here yeah, guys let's pack our lunch and to be like my sweetie so here guys uh, as i've told you that i love my stew it to boil kabisa like you see that's how i love my stew like it boil 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 like yani like it boil like ikwe with that thick paste so that is how i usually love my bean stew for chapati or even for rice so that's my uh, bean stew chapatis are there what my chapatis are there see see there there i know he's going to be happy so guys uh i have these papers you buy from the supermarket they, they're usually in a roll like as you are taught like as you are growing up eh, chapatis are supposed to be kept in this polythene bag so that to ensure that they keep the the the, the warmth uh and also for them to be soft and to come as well like i've grown up knowing that chapatis after you cook you must put them in a polythene bag so for this bag you get them uh, in a supermarket they are usually in a roll like this one so mine is almost finishing so it's usually in a roll like this one so you roll it uh it's, it's a long paper you you stretch it and then you cut uh penye mefika so that's what basically i use i usually use for my chapati after i've cooked my chapatis so they are there they are my people they are there on a two zina pepeta kama pesa check it too check it too so my baby is going to be happy so let me pack for him the lunch and off we take him the lunch <music> I've already crossed the road and uh, Navuka Highway Mbili to Nairobi and to Nakuru. So, yes, in a short while, my baby will be having his lunch. Hey, Mambo? Mm -hmm.
Leo mimi nimekuja. Una doni ni pande hii. Surprise. Guess the surprise. Nimekuja kunipeleka out. Hey, out no na hassle. Nimekuletea lunch. Your favorite. Sasa hata ngoje uone. Thank you. Acha nikuonyeshe. Guess ni nini? Ya favorite, ya favorite. Hehe, chapo na. Jahe. Ah, kuna njahe kwa fridge. Ah, kuna. Get something else. Yes. So, what's in the toilet?